Hello guys and welcome to this video. This video is going to be a little bit different than the videos we used to do. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to something that is really awesome to me actually. It is the SFML library and using it with C++ language to develop games. So let's first introduce you to SFML. So according to the definition in Wikipedia, it is a simple and fast multimedia library. So this is the approbation of the SFML name. So it is used, or at first it says that it's a cross-platform software development library. So it is built at first using C++ in order to just make the performance, which is pretty crucial when it comes to game development. So as you can see here, it's written in C++. So in simple words, it allows you, or to me actually, I can say that it gives a kind of a layer, abstraction layer, upon the OpenGL library, which is which was quite complicated to me. But it also hides the complexity that you do not need to worry about if you're just getting started. So, so this is just a simple game that I uh, that I've made. Uh, it's not yet completed and there's some sort of glitches but I found it so awesome to just show you uh, how easy it is and uh, how uh, you can use it to just start developing your own games so let me start this application as you can see also it is um, I'm developing in C++ and it is um, I've set up some sort of stuff first in order to use it on Visual Studio and if you're interested, actually, I'm going to make another video on that as well. So let's just give it a shot here. I'm going to run this application in the bug mode. And here. It looks like kind of ugly, but it just works. Uh, there's some weird stuff. This is the glitch that I've talked about. But in general, the collision is working. Okay. And it's not actually going off the borders. Okay. As you can see here. Uh, there's still a lot of stuff to be handled, but up until the point, it's just working fine. And of course, as you can see, this is not handled as well yet. But in simple words, I just wanted to tell you that it's easy to use, and it is um, totally, or oh, the code is totally makes sense, basically. So, for instance, here I'm just going to give you a small example. If you want to create a video. So if you want to create a window, you simply want to just create this object, give it the resolution, the video mode object, and then pass that object to the render window object and give it the title and give it the type of the window that you want to be, or you want to give to your window, which is uh, whether it's a default as you have seen or it is in full screen, okay? And it's easy also to render textures or in other words, sprites on your screen, as you can see, these objects are basically sprites. And uh, sprites that I have made myself. And uh, as you can see, it, it looks kind of ugly, as I said, but everything works just fine. And even the collision detection, I decided to handle it myself. I have no idea actually yet, I'm not, I didn't get to the point yet. If it, uh, the library handles, or there are some sort of built-in functions that allows you to handle collision or make it easier for you, but if it exists, actually, it's going to be awesome as well. It's going to just let you focus on the logic of the game without worrying about any kind of stuff such as how to draw objects, uh, how to uh, render the textures and create sprites using these textures, etc. So this is it. Actually, I just wanted to give you a brief description or a brief introduction to this library and how awesome it is. So if you head over to their website on the download slash bindings page, you'd find there are a whole bunch of options actually to use this SFML library with. You can use it with C, you can use it with .NET, such as uh, C Sharp or VB.NET, and Java and Python as well. So there are a whole bunch of options here. And as we saw, it's totally easy to just get started with so i think that's it for this video and hope you enjoyed it and if you like this kind of video just 
uh, leave me a comment below and I'll keep making such videos. So thank you for watching. See you then.